Hello, college and my students. Good uh, good afternoon. I am Wes Anis Heruman. Uh, today, I'd, I'd like to share uh, knowledge and experience with you related to the first step. The first step that we have to do when we are going to uh, submit the article to some reputable journals or when we are going to write a research proposal or research for your thesis or dissertations. What is it? <clears throat> we are going to talk about state of the art. In this case, related to from the state of the art, we are we will lead to our research gap, our research novelty and knowledge contribution. So here we go. What is actually state of the art? I think it is very simple. State of the art is actually recent trends or emerging issues related to the topic of our research. So the definition from the Elsevier here is uh, a state of the art review considers mainly the most current research in a given area or concerning a given topic. So it summarizes the current and emerging educational trends, research priorities, and standardization in a particular field of interest. So through the uh, state of the art, we will find the current and emerging research trends, research priorities, or research standard related to the uh, topic of our research itself. So, what should we do to find out our uh, state of the art of our research? The answer is simple. Read, read, and read. So, we have to read both intensive reading or extensive reading. It does not summarize the uh, previous research by others, but we have to analyze, we have to identify, we have to analyze, and we have to classify all of them accordingly. Okay, so when we are conducting the, the, when we are going to find out the state of the art, we start from literature review. Easy to say, but I am sure that easy this that this is easy to implement. Believe me, as long as you get used to do literature review. So let's see the example. Uh, through the uh, why uh, literature review is very very important because. Through the literature review, we can identify uh, we can identify major concepts, ideas, and results within the sources that will fit and relevant with our research. So, uh, through the literature review, we find out the major concept, ideas, issue, uh, problem, etc., etc. So it will lead us to find out the research gaps. The research gap will lead us to determine what is the novelty of our research. What are the uh, research questions of our study? And knowledge contribution of our research in what part? Nah, this is very, very important uh, step. Uh, since the first place we are conducting the, 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 the research. Okay, so let's see the more detail uh, about the example of conducting the literature review to find out the state of the art, uh, uh, research gaps, uh, novelty, and knowledge contributions. Let's see my case. Uh, in my case, at that time, my topic is related to blended learning. 
especially related to instructional system design. So this is my uh, my topic. So some of my colleagues, they are reviewer from from some international journal, uh, reputable international jur journal. Uh, assist me to do some uh, steps in uh, conducting the literature review. What do what do I do at the time is uh, I try to search some uh, article from some uh, reputable journal by using some keyword related to the blended learning and some keyword related to instructional system design and blended learning. So uh, I use some uh, uh, some uh, keywords related to the uh, topic of my research. Okay, from uh, from the searching, let's say I found some uh, article. Let's say a uh, hundred articles. From hundred articles, not all the articles. Uh, 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 I I exclude some articles because it's not related to the. Uh, topic that I will res uh, that that I will researching, so uh, I found some articles that I can identify my uh, state of the art and the research gap and lead to the uh, my novelty about my research itself. Okay, so uh, let's say from some uh, articles. I add, I add in, I add, identify some uh, uh, research issues that I have classified into a certain classifications. The first one, the first one, uh, I found that blended learning is not merely uh, how to combine the face-to-face -face, uh, and the online. So it is more about the state, uh, the art and the science of how to combine the right mix or the right blend of the blended learning itself. So it is uh, this statement supported by some other uh, literature review. Yeah. So you can see on the screen uh, there is some other uh, support. Now this one uh, I identify I I, I classify these uh, issues related to uh, how to combine. This is my interest. So I decide to to pick this uh, classification of issue, how to combine the right blend of blended learning. Now, on another hand, I found also uh, some findings from other, uh, uh, other research that uh, among many studies on blended learning, 41.2% of them focus on blended learning strategies. On the subtopic, for example, blended learning model, uh, blended learning strategies, blended learning design process, blended learning implementation, and the structure of the content of blended learning it, uh, in a course. But among them, only 3.5% related to the instructional system design model development instructional system design model development okay this statement i i call twice and this isd model is very very crucial for the for the practitioners or lecturers as a reference or a guidance in designing a good quality instruction including instruction with blended learning approach now this one yeah this one I pick the ISD model development as the uh, the main issues and the problem that I will uh, solve in the uh, in the in my uh, uh, research. So this is uh, my novelty. I I start to find out. Uh, I start to find out my novelty related to this. So when I read some literatures. When we talk about the e-learning, it's always about, uh, talking about two learning settings, which is uh, synchronous learning activities and asynchronous learning activities. So I decide to uh, to pick the novelty is like this. So my novelty is to develop an instructional system 
design model that provide guidance for designers or teacher it means or for teachers for instructor for lecturers to pick or to blend the right mix of a course with a blended learning approach from the perspective of space and time this is my uh, novelty from the perspective of space and time or synchronicity so uh, after uh, uh, it is uh, an evidence that the literature review, through the literature review, we can find the state of the art or the emerging uh, trend or issue or the current trend or issue related to my topic. In this case, is blended learning. From the issues, I pick one of the classification related to the issue of how to uh combine the right mix or the right blend of blended learning itself and this is uh, my goal of my uh, research to develop an instructional system design model uh, i put my novelty here related to uh, how to combine the right blend of blended learning a design from the perspective of space and time or synchronicity for example if the instructional objective is x what kind of learning setting that appropriate for those uh, learning outcomes is it synchronous or asynchronous if synchronous, what kind of synchronous learning? If asynchronous, what kind of asynchronous learning? Something like that. So this is my uh, novelty. And from this side, we can see that my research will give the contribution for the discipline of educational technology. So my knowledge contribution here is very clear. It will be contribute to the field of instructional design, especially instructional system design model, more specifically for the instructional design model related to blended learning approach. So that is uh, my experiences when I conduct conducting literature review to find out the state of the art of my research, research gaps, research questions, uh, the novelty, and the knowledge contribution of my research. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.